Hello, Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. This is Salt Intuition Tarot. Glad to see you here. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Let's see what's going on in Cancer's love life. We have the Five of Cups. The Six of Cups. The Queen of Swords. Looks like that you cut somebody off in the past. They caused you a lot of grief with the Five of Cups. Could have been an air sign. Doesn't have to be. Air sign or water sign heavy. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Looks. What are you working on? Looks like you're working on something. You're recuperating. So you're working on recuperating from this person because they caused you a lot of drama, looks like. Let's see. Hidden truth. Let's get the hidden truth out and see what's going on. What happened with this person for cancer? Uh, this person might have wanted to be more than friends. And you had to cut them out. Hmm. You know, if you're friends with somebody and you know exactly what type of person they are, they wish things could be different. They want to be more than friends. So if you cut them off, uh, said, hey, maybe we could be friends. Uh, they want to be more than friends. They wish it could be different. But whatever happened here, you're going to recuperate from it. So some disaster obviously happened. You're working on recuperating for yourself. See what's going on here. Clarify the Four Swords. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Working on uh, your stability. You know, you're just working. Looks like you're working. On things that bring you positivity in your life. And things that bring you happiness with the Sun card. That also represents a Leo. Also have the Two of Wands. Planning. And the Wheel of Fortune. Want to see karma hit their ass. Whoever. Five of Pentacles. That you release somebody you released, uh, you left out in the cold. You had to leave them out in the cold, and you think only karma can deal with their ass, uh, and that's what you're planning to happen, or you're hoping that'll happen. So this person was up to no good. They like looks like they, you want structure in your life, and you tried to was trying to be very kind to this person. Trying to make a go of it. Trying to talk to them with kindness. But looks like they were toxic. The devil's here. They're a very toxic person. Maybe they drank too much. They cursed too much. You know, anything toxic you deem toxic. Well, this person was all about it. They just eat up with it. They might have wanted to tell you or might have said to you, Hey, well, the moon's here. Which means that, oh, you misunderstand me. This ain't really toxic. This is not what you think it is. They're wanting to tell you that you misinterpreted what they were trying to get at. But, they still want a new beginning with you. They don't want to be left out in the cold. They want a new beginning with you. And whether you're going to allow that remains to be seen. Let's get some more hidden truth. They can't stop thinking about you. I.e. the Ace of Wands card. New beginning. They want a new beginning. Because they can't stop thinking about you. They want to be more than... Oh-oh. Uh Here we go. I love you. They love you. Cancer. Throwing the love word in. We also have... I don't react when people mention you. Well, they're keeping it a secret. That they're in love with you. And, but they do want you. They want you in your life. They want to be more than friends. It's not sitting well with them that you cut them out. What's their actions in the future? They're delusional. They're seven of cups. They must be delusional, right? If they think that you will give them another chance. What else about this person? They're crazy illusional. <laughs> They're crazy. Okay? That's what I get. With the three of pentacles, uh, juggling, and delusional. 
So, maybe you know this person as be someone that juggles people. And you think they're very delusional. And they have to keep several prospects in the, in the works at all times with the Page of Pentacles. So, they're a player, right? They are a player. Maybe somebody's going to come tell you, an air sign individual, or a uh, could be a fire sign's going to come in and tell you they feel burdened. Uh, they want they want you to know this person's very has a lot of anxiety. They went all to hell like a two dollar watch. Since y'all ain't been together, the Knight of Cups, Ten of Wands, King of Swords, and Eight of Swords, they're all to hell like a two dollar watch. See what you're going to do. What are your plans? Besides recuperating. You had to recuperate from this hot mess, right? Oh, Lord. Five of swords, revenge. You ain't thinking about revenge, are you? Mm -mm -mm. Getting back at him. King of Pentacles. Um, if you want to feel secure in your life, revenge is not the best option, Cancer. Just don't get revenge on them because, you know, um, people end up getting their own karma. So if you just allow that to happen, I know it seems uh, like it's not happening fast enough. But, you know, seeking out revenge can mess up your security. You know what I'm saying? They, it could cause problems for you. So I don't recommend just get truth. You know the truth. You got justice in the situation. So just, you know, stick with that and move forward. And if they don't leave you alone, you know, you can get a restraining order, right? <laughs> Movement. Six of Swords. Okay. Somebody understands who you're going through. It could be a fire sign. Uh, they're understanding what you went through. And they're feeling you. This person uh, finds you very attractive. They want to move towards you. You know, it could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius wanting to come in and telling you they sympathize with your situation. And they want, you know, y'all to get it together. Two of Cups. Of course, they, they want a relationship. So that, that secret's revealed. So you got somebody coming in for you, Cancer, that wants a relationship with you. And they're, you know, they understand what you've been through, what that person's put you through. Uh, they want you to move on and move toward them, it looks like, because they want a relationship with you. With the Two of Cups, they want a partnership. They want y'all to get it together. How's this going to pan out? Hmm. You're going to celebrate because this is going to be a forever type of deal with the Ten of Swords. It's never ending. Ten of Swords in reverse, not ending, not coming to a conclusion. Celebration. So, yeah, they want, they want it to never end. They want infinity to infinity and beyond with y'all. So, you may, be, may or may not be happy about this, according on if you know who this person is. It's you know, thinking this way. Maybe you've already got contact with them. When will you have contact with them if you haven't? Let's see for some of y'all that haven't made contact with this person. Nine days. Looks like for me, within from now, nine days from now. Nine of Pentacles. Strength. Nine of Swords. So you got some nines in here. So, uh, this person has a lot of experience. They're very mature, it looks like. Uh, they've been through the chaos of life, you know, things that life throws at you. They've been through that already. And it looks like they're coming out of that. They, they're very strong, brave inner individuals. And like I said, a fire sign. So, this is a Leo. So, this could be, if y'all are on the cusp, uh, Cancer Leo cusp, then this may be talking about you feeling comf 
comforter, comfortable now because you got out of the trauma and the chaos that you went through. Y'all be careful with someone trying to come in and deceive you with the Seven of Swords. Could be an air sign. They're trying to distract you. So, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius, um, Libra, sorry. Hmm, could be a Sagittarius. Don't know why I said that, but could be. Trying to distract you. They're distracting you from shaking things up. Uh, maybe you know the truth about something. They're afraid if you open your mouth that secrets are going to be revealed. It's going to cause a tower moment for them. They don't want that to happen. So, uh, there's somebody going to come in that's being very deceptive to you that's going to tell you a lie to distract you. Because they know that whatever it is that you could do to them will mess their world up. That's what I see. Let's see what this is. Yeah. Whatever you could communicate about them, it could really mess them up. So be careful. They're going to come in trying to tell you all types of lies to get you not to communicate whatever it is that you know. So that's for some of y'all. I don't know what that's about. Also have someone, uh, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or you, coming in to give someone support because they're acting very immature. You have the Knight and the King of Wands. Uh, maybe they're very... Uh, nice looking but they're very immature they think they can control every situation you're going to have to give them some advice it looks like because they're all about the drama with the knight of swords so you are looking out for this individual to come in that's uh, all about the drama they like control of their situation because they feel like they could have control because they are the knight of king of wands um you know they want to come in and out fast and you're going to have to give them some type you have to tell them your player energy is not going to happen because all it does is cause drama. And uh, if you're trying to control the situation uh, just for, with your looks, maybe some people think they're so good looking they can control the situation with their looks. Maybe you're going to tell them if they're coming towards you, this for some of y'all, someone like that's coming toward you, it's only about drama. You know, they think you'll be su supportive of their drama. Of whatever it is they want to tell you or need support from. They think that, uh, you know, you're going to give them some good advice or that you would uh, accept them. But in all in all, this person just wants to control things. Because they feel like they have control over everything because of their looks, it looks like. And that's for some of y'all. Let's get it, some advice for cancer. Advice for cancer. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Three of Cups. And we have the Queen. Oh, my Lord, this is a match. So, yeah, you're going to come into union. You're going to celebrate possibly a marriage for y'all. So, be looking out for a uh, wedding proposal. This is no shit. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is here. Knight of Pentacles, married. Okay, stability, trust, celebrate. So, yeah. Be looking for that commitment you always wanted. Or somebody that maybe you're possibly already with uh, will come out and hit you with a uh, proposal. All right. All right, Cancer. Y'all have a good one. Salt Intuition Tarot. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.